DBMS on the topic transactions. We have been given RI and WI of Z as the read and write operations on a data element Z by transaction TI. And there is a schedule S given which is having four transactions. Let us write down that schedule as the tabular format. Four transactions T1, T2, T3 and T4. First we are having read four of X. So let us write that this way. Then we are having read two of X. After that we have read three on X. So third transaction makes a write operation on data element X. Then we have read one on Y. After that write one on Y. Next we have write two on X. Finally we have write 3 on y and at the end read 4 on y. So this is the tabular format for the given schedule. Now let us uh, find out what are the dependencies existing in this particular schedule. As we can see this is read of y and this is write of y. So there will be a dependency between them. This is write y and this is read y. So again a dependency between them. Then we are having this write of y and write of y. Then write of y with read of y. So these are the dependencies we got between transactions T1, T3 and T4. For x we will have read x and write x but that is the same transaction. And the order will definitely be the same. So we will consider for transactions T3 and T4. These are the dependencies. Now we can convert these dependencies into the precedence graph that would be something like this. There are four transactions T1, T2, T3 and T4. What are the dependencies that we got? That the transaction 2 will always execute after T3 and T4 because of the data element X. So 2 will execute after both 3 and 4 hence we make these edges in the graph. Now for the data element y we got the dependencies from t1 to t3, t1 to t4 and t3 to t4. So making those edges t1 t3, t1 t4 and t3 t4. So this is the precedence graph that we get and now we will write down the topological sort for this graph. And here we can see that T1 is the only node which is having no incoming edge. So that will be the first transaction to be executed after T1 which can be executed from T1 the arrow is going to T3 and T4 both. But for T4 T3 has to be completed before that because there is an edge. So T3 comes next. Now after T3 which of T2 and T4 can be considered? In T4 there are two incoming edges from 1 and 3 and both are already complete. So that can come next. Why not T2? Because it is having an incoming edge from T4. But if it is not executed first then T2 cannot. So that will come last. And the order that we get is T1, T3, T4 and T2. This is the only topological sort that we got for this precedence graph and hence from the given options the option a represents a serial schedule that will be conflict equivalent to the given schedule s so that is our answer